Julie and I recently enjoyed a game at Fenway and a few $10 beers too, but right outside of the park is a cart that sells sausages and peppers. That is a famous cart. People line up down the street and you can smell the great food a mile away, mm -hmm. right? They call him the sausage guy. They do call him the sausage <laughs> and today guy. Today I'm the sausage guy. <laughs> <laughs> we are gonna start with sausage. Great. And you can either use sweet or hot sausage, or you can mix them up and it can be a grab bag. But today I'm just gonna use sweet sausage and I've got two pounds here. And they're just Italian. They're right? just Italian. Okay. Now we've seen a lot of recipes that poke the sausages, it just lets all the juices and flavor leak out and cause flare ups so don't poke the sausage. Love it. Now moving on to the peppers and onions, we're gonna use a red bell pepper and just a regular yellow onion. So to cut an onion up into nice slivers, cut off both ends, cut it in half right through the center. And I like to peel that outside layer plus that first layer of onion which can also have a few bruises and mm -hmm. be a little slimy. We're gonna slice it pole to pole, because of course you have a rainbow shape here. So we're gonna angle the knife as we go. We're looking for a quarter of an inch thick slices. So that is two onions all okay. day. On to the peppers. First you wanna take a pepper and you wanna lop off the top and the bottom. Now we're gonna cut through just one side of the pepper and we're gonna open it up. And this is when you can take all the seeds and ribs out. Slice away any of those ribs, being sure to keep your fingers well out of the way. And we're gonna cut it into quarter inch thick slices. All right, so again, three peppers, two onions. We're gonna combine them in a bowl. And this is where our recipe is different from other recipes. Sausages and onions and peppers do not all cook at the same rate. That's right. We really want these to cook down and be soft. So we're gonna par cook these in the microwave. We're gonna give them a jump start and we're also gonna flavor them at the same time. Okay. So we're gonna add just a little bit of vinegar. This is three tablespoons of distilled white vinegar. A little bit of sugar, just two tablespoons of sugar. Sweet and sour. A little sweet, a little sour. This is a tablespoon of vegetable oil, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper. Easy so far. Very easy. We're just gonna stir this up to make sure everything's nicely combined. Now, as I mentioned, we're gonna give them a head start in the microwave. On goes a plate into the microwave, six minutes on high. Sounds good. Mm, you can start to smell them, can't you? It's starting to smell like that ball game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little bit of vinegar and that little bit of sugar really does brighten up their flavor. Ugh. We're gonna use a disposable aluminum pan we're ready mm. to fire it up. All right, sounds good. All right, so it's time to get grilling and I've been heating this grill up for about 15 minutes with all the burners on high. Now I'm gonna take my trusty grill brush and just get off any schmutz that's stuck on the grill grates from the last time we cooked. Now I'm gonna give them a quick rub down with some oil. This will help keep them nice and seasoned every time you cook. We're gonna start with the peppers and onions. They've already had a little bit of a head start in the microwave. Right. They're gonna get more of a head start on the grill. So I'm just gonna put them right on the hot side mm -hmm. and I'm gonna turn off the burners on the other two sides so you have a cool side and a warm side. All right. Now these need about 20 minutes ahead of the sausages. All right, so it's been 20 minutes that our vegetables have been on the grill and it's time for the star ingredient. <laughs> We're gonna cook them on the cool side. Okay. Because we found that a lot of recipes tell you to throw them right on the hot grill, but that really shrinks the casing and then they burst open and they lose all their juices. All right, put that last little guy on there. I'm gonna give these vegetables a nice stir. I'm gonna put the lid down and I'm gonna let these sausages cook like that for about eight minutes. Okay. All right, so it's been about eight minutes. There's no busted open sausages, nothing. All that juice is inside the casing mm -hmm. where we want it. So I'm just gonna give these a quick flip. I'm also just gonna give this a quick stir, close the lid and go another eight minutes. Okay. So it's been about eight minutes. You can see, oh, the sausages are nicely cooked on both sides, but not very brown yet. And that's what we're gonna tackle now. Okay. Put the sausages in the pan with the vegetables. We're just gonna toss them a little bit with some of that vegetable juice. Pan on the cool side, sausages now on the hot side, just for a couple minutes. Turn them and make sure they get nice and browned on all sides, and that takes about three minutes or so. And we're looking for an internal temperature of about 160 degrees. That's how you know your sausages are done. So I've been turning these sausages for about two or three minutes now so they get nice and evenly browned. Well done. Now, I'm not above temping a sausage. We're looking for 160 degrees on the Are nose. Are you kidding me? <laughs> all right, so time to put these back into the pan because really we want all the sausage juices to mingle with the vegetables mm. before we eat it. So now we're gonna take this whole pan right off the grill and we're gonna bring it inside. All right. All right, so these have been resting for five minutes. And it's uh, game time. I haven't time. gone too far, I have to tell you. <laughs> oh, 
Look at that. Smells like a ball game. <laughs> I'm ready to serve it up on a nice party sub roll here. Put some sausage and peppers along the side. But I have something for you. I saw that over there. A little my home brew here. Cream ales. Look at that color. Ooh, that's gonna taste good. That'll be $10. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, we'll let the foam settle. Take right. a bite. Mm -hmm. Mm. You know what I noticed at first? Is that sweet and sour taste. Yes. From the vinegar and that sugar. Mm -hmm. And that sausage Ooh. still mm. has a lot of juice because we have that two level cooking method. It's bringing back memories, Bridget. Mm. Cheers. And thank you for the beer. Cheers to you. Thanks for the sausages and peppers. Well, believe me, if you make this recipe, they will come. You just want to get the onions and peppers a little head start in the microwave, put in a foil pan and head out to the grill. Cook the vegetables over the hotter side and start the Italian sausages on the cooler side. Then it's the old switcheroo. Finish cooking the vegetables on the cool side and brown the sausages over direct fire. Let them rest together, pile into buns and serve. So from Cook's Country, a wicked awesome recipe for grilled sausages with bell peppers and onions. Mm -hmm. And $10 beer. <laughs>